Hey, good day, guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous lecture, we talk about working with a Z using smart art in order to, to form an organic, organogram structure or this a this a functional structure for an organization. Today, we are going to talk about how to create a chart in order to make your work look professional for presentation. Now, let's go. But before going further, let me try to clear all this work that we have done in our previous lecture. Let me clear it off. Mm, okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. This is a format. So just click on the cell. Then, as we we are rightly done in our previous lecture, come come down to editing. Yet, then you see a clear, kind of clear all. Then let me on this. The, let me change the border sign there as well. Click here. Then choose no border. Okay. This is a format as well. Let me clear. It. Come down to your clear. Okay. Click on is a format formatted. Uh, so there, let me clear it as well. Now, so I think our uh, okay. Let me have a little bit. Go. Let me give it a little bit. Go there. Then here too. Let me give it a little bit. The description. Let me give it a little bit. Go. So I'm just trying to make our look, our template look more professional. Okay. I think we are we are to go here. Yeah. So. To how to create a chart using an Excel template in data. Before you can create a chart, the first step you have to go by is to highlight the data here that you want to create a chart with. Now, after you must have highlighted it, go to insert, then which will display a series of chart forms that you can use. You have column wherever you you see you can you see two D, three D, cylinder, cone, and whichever you like. Line, pie chart, bar chart area. But let, okay, let me work with here. Yeah, let me work with two D because that is most widely used by by companies and all, mostly professionals. Let me click on this. You can see it's giving me the shot of the whole header of created created okay let me drag it down a little bit to move it out of this page okay I think it's more okay here okay let me make it a little bit bold Okay, let me make it a little bit good. Okay, let me change this font style here. Yeah. The January, February, March, and whatever. Let me put it 2020. Let me put it 2020, all right? 2020. You can see that it's, it's showing to only 220. I will show you how to go about it. Just hold on. Let me finish it for time then. 2020. Then April. That's 2020. All right. You can see. So I wanted to on this chart to be, to, be, to have a little bit changes on just January 20. It can be 2022, 2023, but I want to make it 2020. Right. I like the old cell there. We will say just January say January and the old month cell. Now come down to custom here scroll down click on more number format right you can see we have month 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 slash year year this year is signifying that's only 20 but i want to make it 2020 so what we need to do is just add two y you can see so this is you can see the display there. so this is how my month is going to do once i click on ok well and see now so immediately because whatever changes i'm making here it's going to be also going to reflect on my chart here you can see my january 20 2020 february 20 march and april 2020 
so by at this junction i'll be able to teach you how to create a chart using a, an ez data template thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel in order to get my latest videos bye